Uh, just like I told you in the last video, guys, I was going to show you how I did the uh, most Isley Animal Barn. Uh, this one, I did make a little bit more changes from what I had in the last one. I unlocked the rest of the, uh, the set, so I put in some corner pieces, which gives you... Or the corner half walls now. I knew there had to be some, and there are. There's actually a couple of options you have, but this gives more, more of a view when you're up here, which I like better. I'm always hungry <laughs> when I do these. Uh, all right, uh, so quick little walk around. Put crops, you guys, you, there's a lot of options here. The storage in the back. I really like the way this one looks. These pieces are really good. Uh, I'm not gonna get too carried away, guys. I, I can easily, because I really like these pieces, but uh, I'm just gonna show you this, and then uh, uh, we'll get back into our, our Rebel base build. I won't, uh, I, I promise not to stray. I can, but I won't do that. All right, so let's go. We're gonna do the tutorial just right next to this, all right? All right, guys, fresh daylight, so let's get started. I'm just gonna show you uh, how I built this. The only thing I changed, like I said, was those pieces there from what was in the last video, but you can then uh, swap out whatever pieces you want after this, okay? So after you put your barn down, you're gonna go in the walls and you're looking for the tapered wall, number four, six by four by 12. Same thing like the like before, put it up against the stairs, wait till it's red and then Wait till it turns green moving forward. Okay, back, red, forward, green. Okay, right up against that. And we're gonna stay in walls, half walls. You have options here, guys. Now, uh, just on, like I said, I unlocked all the whole set now, but you could go with two of these, or they actually have a, a, a two by four by six, okay? That's the piece that I used in my build. Okay, should look like this. And the piece next to that, go back in the walls. Looking for this piece right here. Tapered wall number one. One up against that. Just make sure you're, the, the nubs are lining up. Because this has a little half half piece right there. That kind of sticks out. That can throw your, your build off. All right. So just look at it from this angle. Make sure all your top uh, nubs are lined up with each other. Okay. And stay in walls. We're going to go grab. Again, you'll be able to swatch, swap out some of these pieces over here, guys. But I, let's just build it out first. And then you could do that later. Wall number one, two by two by 12. See, Dizzle just did it. I lined it up with that half half piece. You don't want to do that. You want to line up with the uh, actual nub. That's what gives us the detail, which is what I like about these pieces. Okay. So there we go. Right, on the left, you're gonna go down the walls. We're looking for this one right here, the two by eight by 12. One of those, actually two of them right next to each other. Okay. And then you're looking for this piece, the taper, the six by two by 12 tapered wall number three. Okay. Let's go to the, the, the right side. Okay, and now on this side, you're gonna go with the uh, Wall number three, the two by eight by 12. One of those. I believe we're putting two of those next to each other. Let me double check that. Yeah. Two of those next to each other. Then you go back in your favorite six by two by 12. We should look like this. All right, let's finish the back wall. I'm gonna go in the walls. And I'm using this piece right here. You're gonna line it up with the, oh, that's interior, hang on. No, it's not, all right. The two by eight by 12, let's see. This one right here, wall number three with the bars. And then just line it up with the uh, the nubs from this piece right here, okay? So we should look like this all the way around. And just like before, let's go over the stairs. And then you're gonna want three visible and the fourth one should line up with this row right here, okay? 
So again, one, two, three visible, and then the fourth one there, okay? And for this wall, if it's in your favorites, you're, you're looking for this one right here, the two by two by 12 wall number one. And we're gonna put this on the seventh one this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure it's up against the stairs. Back it out because red and then green. All right, then we're gonna go in the walls. We are looking for this one right here. Two by eight by 12. That is, I'm sorry. Wall number three, uh, angled. That just goes right up against that. So we should look like this all the way around. Walls are pretty much done. Now we can do our floors. You can go with the, I, this is actually the roof that I'm using. But another floor that actually looks good with this, guys, I'll show you really quick. If you have it, uh, if you purchase the set, that's the nightly. The, the orange looks really good because there's orange in the build itself. And the brown looks really well with this too. Okay, but I'll show you what I used. It's the roof pieces. Eight by two by one. And then this is the 16 by two by one. Just make sure it's up against the wall. Flip it around just to break it up a little bit. Okay. Then we'll do the floor up here. Again, this is gonna be in roofs. So we can stay here. You're looking for this piece right here, the four by eight by one. It's gonna be hard to snap to. You just gotta make sure it's flush with the, uh, the stairs. So one's gonna go there. And then we'll put the main floor. You can scroll down. You're looking for this one right here, the 16 by 16 by one. And then this should fit right in there. Okay. If you want a little bit more ceiling height, you can go down and see how it's red and then bump, push it, pull it up so it's uh, just green slightly. It'll give you just that little bit of lip, just a little bit more clearance. Uh, even though you got the dome, you still have plenty of room that way. Or you just keep it flush, whatever, whatever you prefer, okay? And then now for the ceiling, going to, to walls, half walls. And then I'm using the half wall that is uh, number one. Again, you can use a corner, but if you're gonna use a corner, I think it would look better if you use the corner on the bottom as well. But again, that's, you can build this out first and then I would make your changes after. So that way you got the build the way it is. Okay, so there's that. And then I like to put, go in the fences. I like to put this in next because then the, the dome will fit easier. So you're looking for dome fence corner uh, number two, not the rounded one, this one right here. And then just make sure it's lined up the corner piece like that. I'm gonna put a stair, a uh, half stair here. Just so we can make sure it gets lined up. If you wanna do the same, you can. Okay. And then the next piece for that, go back in the fences. That is going to be uh, two by four by one. Go ahead and fill all that in. And okay, then we can take this out. And now that dome piece, it should fit right at the this level with this piece right here. Let's go and grab it on the roof. This one right here, rounded. Just use your, your nudge keys. There you go, see how it's flush? It just fits right in there just like that, okay? And let's finish this off. Back in the fences. That is the two by 16 by one. One goes there, 
one goes there one goes there that is going to be the two by six by finish this then i'll know for sure so corner is going to go here corner is going to go here just you might have to turn it though so it's uh fitting the correct way I have a corner here even with this okay that is two by six by one two by eight by one that's a single two by two by one and then here i want to say yeah the two by eight by one right here okay there you go All right, we'll wait for fresh daylight and then I'll show you a little bit of the uh, the wall here. It's the same as we did on the uh, the rebel base, but I'll, I'll show you again over here. All right, guys, really quick. I'll show you a few steps on how to do this wall really quick again. What I did, uh, you're going to go down the half walls. And you can change these pieces up if you want to as well uh, with other pieces like this or these. Uh, you're going to put one of these down, and it might be a little bit hard to see at first uh, on the recording, but you, you'll see it once you put that piece down. The castle half wall, and then you're going to line it up. There's two lines. There's a line right, right there, and there's another one right here. Okay. So once you get that down, then you should be able to go back on the half walls, grab this one. Okay, and now you should be able to snap right to that underneath it. And that's going to go up against that wall that's there. And you can, then you can uh, move it over. There's one, and then one, two. So you got that space there. Get rid of this now. All right, so in total, guys, you're going to have six of those going from, uh, from right to left. If it lets you snap to it, that's good. And then you can just go count over again. One, two... Two, that is five. Let's see if we can do one more. Again. There you go. There's six. Okay, and then on top of that, go into fences. I'm using uh the Galactic Lodge railing, and I'm facing it. There's a it's a corner piece. So the corner is to the right. Put that on top each on each of those. And then you can see I have some texture. This is the nightly one. I switched it out because the nightly piece has a little bit more uh, brick texture. But if you don't have that that set purchase, uh, castle will still work. Or again, like I said, if you go into uh, half walls, you can use uh, you could use uh, the umber half wall. If you want that look instead. See how that looks. We can use that. So you, get, you want it to it turns green so go goes to the left just once like this and then you can just snap right to that underneath it and then just make sure it's lined up so one two three four five on this side all right and then like it looks like i go over Two more this way, and then two more of the of the one on the bottom. So go back into the umber, just snap to that one, and count over, put up against it one, two. Okay, go back in your favorites, grab the uh, most Isley half wall. One, two, and the corner corners to the right. And then we can go into fences. Let's see, corner looks like a corner is here. I think I put another one here, but I turn it. So we get that rounded edge there. That was, I'm sorry. 
That was a two by six by one. It's a two by 16 by one. Looks like that's gonna be a two by four by one. Okay, then if you have right core on you, there's these little pieces sticking out on that, that railing that you put. Kind of hard to see with the uh, umber. You're gonna put one of those on each one. If you're lucky like me, it's snapping right to it. Okay. Yeah, I actually like it with the gray better and the castle look. But I just wanted to sh show you guys that there is options. Your preference. Okay. Maybe to break that up a little bit. Let's try this. This might work. A little bit different. Actually, I do. Let's go back in and just grab the single. That'll break it up a little bit. Again, options, guys. There's th other stuff that you could do. That actually looks pretty cool that way, too. I like that with the brown, then. That breaks it up a little bit. And then as far as the decorations, I put the antenna up top. Let's see the fence over here. I think I went with the one by, no, actually the one by six by two. Went in just a little bit. And then let's see, let's put the plots down. Then it'll let me know where to put. Just right up against it, I put three of these. There we go. In with the fence. I had to go with the bigger one, didn't I? Yeah, I went with the longer one. The one by eight by two. All right, there you go, guys. And then as far as, again, decorations, the lighting there. And then I went with these because I just like the way it looked better with the, the sand color. All right, two, two there. That's the same flooring as the bottom, and you can fit three here with that one, with that chest. Put whatever crops you want. A seat if you want it in there. I know their modernist has a uh, really nice uh, fireplace in uh, most Isley set. You can use that one. Okay. So there you go. This is how I'm going to be doing the, uh, the most Isley barn for the animals uh, when I start building out uh, with this with this kit. All right. This is it. We'll catch you on the next one.